beautiful babies. I'm gonna do some tarot, but if your day has been anything like mine, you might need a little bit of this energy cleansing with the selenite wand, okay? I know I certainly did. All right, babies. Let's see what the angels have to say. I'm in my new Airbnb for a week down in Southern Oregon. It's been a long day. Cars are popping out already. You got a celebration coming in. You've got a reunion. You've got good news. You've got friendship. You've got fun times ahead of you, okay? That doesn't just pop out for nothing. Especially when I'm talking about sacrificing everything for your higher path, which is what I'm doing. Taking risks, being in that fool's journey, putting yourself out there. <sighs> Scales are being balanced, okay? A lot of you have been struggling. A lot of you have not felt celebrated or seen by the people around you. But as you walk away from what doesn't serve you, spirit is trying to bring you what does to balance the scales. You don't have to struggle anymore. On the bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles with the nine of wands, all right? One, one, one on my timer. You are stepping into massive abundance. The scales are turning in your favor, okay? And you have a celebration coming after a long period of time feeling like you couldn't trust anyone and feeling like you were disempowered, like you didn't have what you needed. Maybe even feeling um, disconnected from part of yourself or someone else in particular, a partner, doesn't matter, but your relationship with money was struggling and you've been through a lot, a lot. But Spirit's trying to bring in something different for you now. And this is a whole new setup, so please forgive me as I figure out where to put stuff. And Lion and I, my cat and I just arrived like 20 minutes ago. Honestly, I can't believe I have the energy for this, but I really feel like I need to transmute some of the heavy energy that I was, I've was i been fighting through to get here. It's been a journey, y'all. I didn't just get in my car and drive here. Like, life has been a lot. My, my <laughs> the fucking world. Again, as I'm talking about taking this fool's journey, the world pops out. The graduation... <laughs> The beginning of a new cycle. I just heard a hummingbird outside. Whew, two, two, two on my timer, you guys. Look at that abundance, okay? This is the first time I've seen this card in this deck. It's fucking beautiful. Look at that. That's springtime. That's abundance. That's the fruits of your labor, I'm hearing. All right, and on the bottom is the five uh, wands in reverse. <laughs> This is this period of feeling like you have to squirrel things away, like you have to fight for what you have or that other people are trying to take from you or compete with you or any of that like jealous, um, toxic energy, whether from yourself toward yourself or from another toward another. It's just like all that is being left behind. The Empress, the Empress just came out with the King of Cups on the bottom. These cards are so beautiful. But anyway, this King of Cups is in the reverse. I feel like a lot of you are just going through it emotionally. I feel like a lot of you just don't feel like you have, um, you're able to, to kind of mm, ride the wave in the way that you want and need to right now. And I'll agree. There have been times in the last couple months, especially where I just didn't know. There was a part of me that was like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. But really all that is, is your, it's like, ah, uh, thank you spirit. That is you reaching the expanse of the self, the space that you've created and it's like you have to reach that point to like poof, break out of it. Some people choose to allow it to make them smaller, but what it really is is an invitation to get bigger and to break free of this feeling of being stuck. Going from this feeling of, yeah, King of uh, Cups in reverse to the Empress, to ultimate abundance, ultimate, um, I can't, there's too many metaphors, all right? I keep hearing fertility, abundance, um, creativity. There's just so much flowing through you from the earth too. I'm seeing just like these roots in the earth. Like you're so tapped in. This is a spiritual moment right now for a lot of you. A, a, a moment of reckoning is what I'm hearing. And I just pulled the uh, devil and the hair fin in reverse. Some of you feel like you're more connected to, like you're maybe listening more to your ego than your heart, the hair fin, the hair fin versus the devil. This is really interesting. All right, some of you might just be focusing, thank you spirit, all of your energy toward what is not going well, toward the darkness surrounding you and the people you love or in the world. It's really easy for us to just look at all the terrible shit 
And instead of working on what we need to work on or going inward and doing the healing or praying, believing in something higher, a lot of us have been tapped into this darkness and kind of like allowing it to fuel us. And it's like, we wonder why what's coming out isn't amazing, why it doesn't feel good. It's because what we're taking in isn't gonna feel good at any point, unless we choose to manifest it into a different um, form, you know, transmute it into something consciously. But it's like, why do that when you could just turn your attention to the light, when you could just focus on the light instead of the darkness? Spirit wants you to prioritize things differently, you know, just be aware. The world just came out again, all right? This is the end of an era, all right? Just know that you're meant to be birthed out the other side of this. Don't get stuck in the chaos, in the drama. If it's like low vibration stuff or, or struggle, don't get stuck in the struggle and then wear it like a badge of honor. Just like, oh, I've been through so much. I've been through a lot too, but I don't let it keep me stuck, all right? I don't ever stop. I only let it, I only let it make me stronger. All right, the page of wands. For me, this just represents being on fire. It, for me, in this deck, it's just like creativity, just being on fire, feeling free, transmuting all that negativity into something powerful and beautiful and empowered, I'm hearing. Ten of Swords in reverse. Yes, the end of a negative cycle. The end of this devil energy, this egoic energy, this toxic maybe abuse that you've been dealing with. Or maybe even you've been abusing yourself. My ear is ringing. Wow. Some of you might just be treating yourself really poorly under under the... Just because you've been treated poorly in the past, you don't know how to treat yourself well. Some of you might not be recognizing that you're actually feeding into this hurt people, hurt people. Because when we hurt ourselves, we really hurt others as well. When we don't know how to treat ourselves, we don't know how to treat others. Um, some of you might have somebody interested in you. I don't usually get that, like a specific person, but I do feel like there's one particular person who is watching you. Um, and I feel like your 10 of Pentacles is trying to come in, but there's, again, with the emotions, there's something like, I feel like maybe some of you are drowning. This is in reverse and she's in the water. I feel like some of you are maybe allowing yourself to drown a little bit in the emotions of everything instead of allowing, like, burn through them, through creativity, through dance. Meditation's a big one for me. I consciously, um, through meditation, I consciously transmute all that negative energy and through stuff like this, anything creative, I transmute it into something positive. That's what I do. You're being encouraged to do that as well. And you're being encouraged to collaborate on that with others. Um, let your inspiration speak. Let it take you to places and people that you might not have otherwise met. Be really open to flow in this moment, knowing that anything is possible in this new world. We're creating it all in real time. And the, the bigger you can dream, the bigger um, the potential is, all right? Illuminated path. A lot of you don't feel like it's lit up for you. You don't know that the path is all a light for you because you're still walking in darkness. But so much of that darkness is internal darkness that you have to walk through in order to get to the other side, to the light. You're not meant to get stuck in that darkness. Light weaver, interesting here, right? Illuminated path and light weaver. And these both came out recently as well. You are a light worker, that's what I'm hearing. You're a light being, you came here to spread light. You're supposed to burn through the darkness to bring more light. So if you're surrounded by a lot of darkness, get extra busy transmuting, get extra busy purifying your body. If you guys are still, you know, to like to toxifying your body with, with chemicals and alcohol and drugs and stuff like this, you need to become a pure vessel to be able to transmute this energy for, the, for yourself, most importantly, but also for the collective. Illuminate your path. You are on the right path. Don't let um, this relative darkness freak you out. I've been walking through the metaphorical darkness for a really long time, almost 10 years now. And you know what? I'm only getting stronger and more powerful because of it. And my, my period of time in the light is coming. Like it's here, that's what I'm hearing, it's here. I've fought really hard to get to the other side. Don't get stuck, keep fighting with love, of course. Green Tara, start delegating. Yep, ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Some of you are burning yourselves out doing stuff that a 15 year old could do. Mowing your lawn, you know, things like this. Like anybody who's trying to do everything themselves, you re we really need to learn how to like involve a community in our lives again. Golden opportunity, Yamanya. Yeah, Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. I'm telling you, get to the other side. Keep moving through the darkness. Do whatever you gotta do, all right? to get that healing done. I'm here to assist you if you need it, okay? For private readings and everything. But in the meantime, I love you so much. Keep going and I'll see you next time.